Good evening, everyone. Uh, so let's hop into some oxygen I included this morning. I mean, this evening. I'll get the hang of this eventually. So hopefully today we will have a better stream. Uh, I tried changing a few habits and we hopefully will be able to uh, provide a better quality stream as a result. So yeah, so let's get started. So let me unpause to uh, make, allow us to find and begin to, wow, that is laggy when you first unpause things. Uh, so as I mentioned yesterday, we're going to try to clean this up, finish up our automation for uh, the rockets so that the rockets can go back and forth. I think I'm going to actually change how this works. Remove this knot here and add a knot here. Uh, so remove this knot here and make this into oh, make this into an or with a delay here. Yes, yeah, so make this into an or. Keep the knot here. Make this into an or and add a delay here. I think that would work. Uh, the idea is, well, or it means I need to extend this long. Like, so the idea is that I don't want the ships here to stay too long. Even if we don't, even if we have enough oxygen, I want the ship to go away because our LSR dupes are gonna go crazy. We have some morale issues sending our very heavily morale dupes over to the other asteroids. So we are uh, gas pipe. So hopefully we can handle that. So part of my solution to this is to reduce the amount of range from four tiles to two. So they can go there and come back in one trip. So if I do that, uh, I'm not sure if people are gonna come and take the uh, yeah, it doesn't look like they're going to come and take the, uh, the carbon dioxide out. The general idea is that I'm going to limit the amount of carbon dioxide that is in here uh, to make auto work as we would want it to work. So this will also require us to change this pipe to not run up here anymore and to run down here. So let's assume that both of these rockets are going to be uh, carbon dioxide rockets. So you would have to like this and same thing over here with these two. So we can get rid of destroying these, but still want to destroy this bridge. And then we will add a uh, gas shut off valve like this some bridges like this and I would add some automation so assuming they come back they don't have enough uh, carbon dioxide to make another trip so what we do then is before like we have this off and so they, they come back this is off and uh, so this was off all the time. There's no way to tell that it's back because it'll still be off. Like they'll be back, it'll be off, and there's no way to tell that it's back yet to tell it to start pumping in carbon dioxide. So Yeah, so I have an idea. What if we move the shutoff valve down here and add a uh, element sensor, gas pipe element sensor for carbon dioxide. So this will be false and this would be true when it lands. 
So the idea is if this is true and it lands and it would turn to false. So what we'll want is so yeah, so we put these two together. So now it's a true signal and we will want it to become a false signal. So where's my not gate? But we will want the false signal to stay, which buffer does that. Continue sending green signals, so continue sending a false signal for an extended period of time. So essentially what this will do is we will have carbon dioxide show up here and this will be false. Once it goes away, it will be, it will send a false signal and that means this whole wire will be false and it will show be true. But uh, we will wait 50 seconds or something before we start pumping carbon dioxide in here. Uh, each tile, yeah, so each tile of carbon dioxide is only 10, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So that should be more than enough time for us, for the dupe to get out, go and relax, do their thing, and before we need them to come back. Uh, maybe I should have a special schedule for spacefarers. I'm not where they are on break for most of the time. Something like that. This should work on letting us not have to worry about. Uh, oh, and we also probably need to worry about this copper here because that will melt. So on that note, we should have plenty of steel. Yeah, we have lots of steel. So do we have more steel incoming? No, well, we'll need more iron. So let's make some iron. And let's send over steel. We need to start sharing the bounty that is the steel production of this asteroid. So manufacturing material, steel, allow manual use. Someone should come over and provide us some steel to bring over to the other asteroid. Uh, preferably, well, I'll bring all of them, right? Because that's how much we can fit in here. Oh, it'll only bring one ton, which is okay. So once you bring over the ton of steel, we will send it over. And now Gross Era should have about a ton of steel. So we will replace some of these wires with steel wires. I think we only need to necessarily replace the top ones. Uh, and so we also need to, so yeah, we turn this on and then we want to have, so now it's true and it used to be false. We want to have another filter gate here to make sure we spend enough time filling up the tank before we launch. I'll have to figure out exactly how long that is, but that this should work to provide us an automated form of uh, gas delivery. Uh, we'll, we'll work on the timers to see to make that nice. Uh, apparently it's very warm up here. It's not, it's not that warm. I guess it is quite warm. Wow, being up here is really devastating to the dupes. Devin really cracked under the pressure of being on on top here. Wow. I guess there's gas here, right? And that gas, the gas down here, it's not a lot, but it is very hot. So, yeah, he's not going to like that. So he's leaving and he's gonna to go to one of the beds, which is fine, I guess. We are almost full on beds. That's the population of this asteroid in a bed of some sort. 
mainly because of the very large heat source here. Is this really considered the closest? I essentially want this to become hands-free. Uh, I think this will work to make this rocket hands-free. I don't really think of a way to make the sugar engine hands-free. Uh, we might have to do with limiting sugar access to the engine from both the dupes, but they still need to be able to access that. Like, if only you could provide the sugar using rails, that would solve that problem, but you can't. So, what's the problem over here? I guess you guys need more oxygen. I'm not leaking it anywhere, am I? Doesn't look like it. So, I don't really know what's uh, the problem here. Oh yeah, so... Automation wire. I forgot about this. Let's put you in here. You should detect... Do I have you selected on water yet? No. You de detect some water. Uh, so we'll clean up this whole pool. Yeah, so this is all polluted water. But eventually it will start sucking up some water, which we will need to handle, and this will handle that for us. You guys have nothing better to do than sit there. So, let's give them something better to do. Uh, one, two, three, four, right? And be here. So that should give them, keep them busy for a little bit. We really need to send another oxygen rocket very soon. So, uh, it's just that everyone who can construct it probably very much injured. So let's cancel this, because that's not that important right now. We, th these are the important ones. These don't require, like, it's, it's nice and chill down here, so I'm not too concerned about them going to become, like, too hot. I also think, oh wow, we have a lot of unhatched eggs. I mean, look at that, there's uh, the hard to kill one, the smooth hatchling. It's a good thing that hasn't grown into an adult because those are uh, notoriously difficult. So let's kill these all before they eat the meat that has been dropped. Yeah, it's just that like some of these will take a while to kill, namely that one. Woohoo! Talk about chunky. He does not. They do not go down easy. Stone hatches are also a little stubborn. A little, putting it mildly. Come on, bubbles. There we go. Bubbles should take care of that. How are my caught? Ah, uh, you look good. Let's get you walking and you look good. Let's get you walking. Yeah. But I, you're not assigned to it anymore. Why are you still there? No, guys, guys. I unassign. How? You're not eligible. Uh, so if I go here, I should be able to see you and unassign you. Oh, that's annoying. That means I have to do the same thing for here. Go here, unassign, and be like, maybe Bubbles needs some healing after dealing with all these stone hatches. There you go. Good job, Bubbles. They deserved it. Okay. So those two should be on move, now we should get some more progress here. Uh, maybe I should consider... Uh, 
there. Uh, they still have 600, 500. We will, we will hopefully survive. We just really want. Okay, so carbon dioxide is being piped. Oh, they both went bye bye. Um, one moment, guys. My phone just vibrated. Okay, so the idea is here if it uh, detects carbon dioxide. What? Did I forget some automation? No, okay, it just hasn't been built. Oh, this needs power. Oh. I didn't want to have to drag a power cable from way over here. Do a heavy wire like this should work, right? I don't want to make it out of that material, though. But that should work. I don't think that has a melting temperature I need to worry about. Is it extra conductive? I don't think it's any more conductive than normal. Uh, yeah, maybe I should concern myself with conductivity. I don't wanna... I don't think that's gonna be a problem. I'm gonna stick with not thinking that's gonna be a problem. Hopefully, I am right. Okay, so let's uh, prioritize this. So you guys are idle. What's the problem here? Oh, well, one, you don't have liquid, but I also only told you to make. It looks like we're going to need more refined carbon, so 20 refined carbon. Oh, this is good. So let's get that and let's start building myself the pipes for the water. So. The pipe comes out in here, comes out here. So I'll take it from here. And we will go down here. Go down here, go here. to some insulated pipes. Probably don't need insulated starting from over here, so we can start the insulated pipes here. Okay, now let's add a few extra bridges. Uh-huh, plumbing. There we go. Some more bridges. There we go. And we will not fully connect it so that we can be certain of the situation when uh, we get to that point so I can be in control when it starts. I don't want it to start without me being there to make sure everything is working as expected. Talking about things that might start and break, how are you looking? Okay, so are we full on oxygen too? Why are we not filling up the oxygen? You're going all the way up here, right? Hey, what? Why is the oxygen not being filled? There's no automation stopping it, right? This is not full. This is right. Hmm. 
Let's try to rebuild a pipe here and see if that tricks its memory of what it's supposed to be doing. I might just launch anyways just to see if that can trick any of its memory. But I want to get these uh this already. The idea is I can click click on auto. Oh yeah, so I want to uh how much? So this is 1,000 kilos of per second. This will take 50 minus the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's 44 seconds here. And I want it to take a break of 60 seconds between each launch. Why is this not being built? Come on. It's taking you very long. Unex unacceptably long. There we go. Okay. So you're on. So we have a not date. It's a not date. Hmm. Wait, so you're ready to launch. It's saying no. Oh, one minute. I did this wrong. I might need to change this up a little bit. Because this should now be saying yes, launch, right? Instead of no, don't launch. Yeah, it's the launching part that's the problem. That should be real easy enough. I don't know if that won't work. Because these two wires are connected more deeply than I had, than I would need them to be. So let's delete this, delete these. And that, that needs to stay. Okay, so that's while they fix this, let's get crew inside. The oxygen is still not filling up the oxygen canister. I'm gonna launch anyways, as soon as I can. Come on. Okay, acknowledge warning, launch. Okay. So the idea, so let's now fix these. How high can I go? I can't even go that high above here, which is kind of problematic given the size of. Oh no, if I'm gonna print out some food, I should print it out here, where it could actually be the most useful. There we go. So I'm pretty sure this works as expected. Um, so it should be able to land there, unload and come back. Um, hopefully unloading and loading works as expected. Um, Okay, so the general idea is I take this wire, I need to feed it into an actual OR gate. Um, preferably not necessarily made of steel, so it needs to... Come on, destroy that. And then I would need to make a filter gate that keeps it false. This will need to be made out of steel. Or does it, does it? It has a melting temperature, but will it? Yeah, I'll make it out of steel. And then I'll make another wire out of steel. Let's go like this. Okay, that should, that should solve the launching issue. As soon as it has enough, I just need to make sure 
I give enough a big enough of a buffer. So we need or here. So copper wire, copper wire. Oh, I, can't, I don't think I should have destroyed that one, that's for sure. Okay. That's the only thing this OR gate is good for. It makes it so that the back, the two signals, the two originating signals don't mix. If you don't have that concern, then you can just join those two signals together into one wire and you don't have an issue. But if you want the separate signals to stay separate, then you need to use an actual OR gate. So they're not completely useless, they're just mostly useless. Unless you have a very, very specific need. Oh, I forgot this is supposed to OR into a knot. I completely forgot about that part. So let's get rid of that. Oh, no, I need the wire. Come on, guys. Let's get this done before they come back. Oh, wow, they're back already. Okay, so you should be at 50 kilograms left. You are leaving right away, apparently. Okay. That was because I didn't set a long enough. That's okay. That's uh, automation wire. Oh, filter gate. I didn't set this filter gate. So after the first 25, that should make it ready to launch. It should take another 25 seconds. So we just need to make that 25 seconds. That should allow us. So make this automation wire here, here. Make this all seven. Okay, and I'm gonna pay more attention to when it lands on the other asteroid because I don't think it dropped off all of its oxygen. I really don't think it did. Uh, you seem like you're doing fine. How long is this filter gate set to? 10 seconds, apparently. I'll, I'll have to keep an eye on it. It should not take long to get here. Yeah, only 0.2 cycles, so we just really need to keep an eye on that landing here. Put that in there. There we go. Okay, so this sh should work as I expect. So I'll go over it again. Uh, once it lands, it won't be ready to launch because it will have no fuel. So this will be a red signal, but this will be a green signal, meaning it will stop carbon dioxide from going through. It'll. This is the state it will be when when it lands. But as soon as it lands, the carbon dioxide that's already in these pipes will fill it in. We'll start filling it in. So that means this will eventually, rather quickly, become false. And if that becomes false, then the signal here becomes false and true. So what then, to give the dupes a break, we wait 60 seconds before we start filling up the carbon dioxide. This 60 seconds, the dupe can use to go to the washroom, build up morale, etc. Uh, once those 60 seconds are up, we start building up the uh, engine. Once we reach 25, uh, 25 kilos and ready to launch, signal will, will come on. The dupe will be called to go into the asteroid. I mean, into the oh, into the rocket. Oh, what happened here? Uh, and uh, we will wait 25 seconds to finish loading the rest of the engine. Uh, let's increase that. 25 seconds is the exact amount of time we're supposed to wait. So let's increase it by a little bit. And then we will launch. So this should be perfectly sustainable launching of oxygen to the other asteroid. As long as we have carbon dioxide, which we will look into a way to create that. As long as there's carbon dioxide, we should be ready to launch. Okay, so let's see how the automation signal here works. So this. The 
problem. So this is an AND gate, right? And we have oxygen flowing through here, which means as soon as this flips, it should still wait for all the oxygen here to go away, and then we launch again. Well, apparently aluminum ore can survive these launches. Oh, look at that. Aluminum ore can survive the launch, so I don't even need to use steel. I can just use aluminum. Okay, so he unloaded his packet, his cargo. He should come back here. As soon as he lands here, he should be having uh, an empty, a full, uh, an empty carbon dioxide uh, engine. And that should allow the auto to let him out which then we don't start to refill until we reach the point where 60 seconds has passed. This will allow us to uh, empty this, please. Is he doing it? Yeah. Yeah, so that should be plenty of oxygen for a little bit. There you go. So he lands. Uh, let's check out the automation. So this is false. This is false. Everything now is false. This will just is true, but it's going to take 60 seconds. If I put this on auto, this will allow the dupe to leave. Perfect. And we'll automatically call the dupe as soon as we start filling in the tank. The tank has six kilograms, which is the six tiles that were left. So that should be plenty of time for us to start. And this becoming true because there's carbon dioxide. Oh, that might screw things up though, right? Oh, I think that's gonna screw things up. I didn't think of that. Uh, automation. So yeah, so as soon as carbon dioxide starts to pass through here, this will become true. And that means this will be true, this will be false, and this will stop it right away. I need to change up the way that that is done. Essentially, as soon as we get, I need a buffer follow, I need to follow this with a buffer. I just need the, the wire itself. This wire is constructed. So the idea is that, yeah, you guys need to do this fast. So the idea here is that once this turns on, we need to keep this open for an X period amount of time. But are you full? No, it's still not pumping the oxygen into this. Why? Pipe block. Contents, 10 kilograms of oxygen. Is it trying to remove the oxygen? So if I go like this, it won't take any in because it's trying to remove some. So I'm guessing that's what's going on. Yeah, seeing as soon as it detected some, it will restart the whole cycle all over again. Yeah, oh, 900. You guys are fine. Stop complaining. I'm assuming a bunch of slime, slime lung everywhere, but you know, they'll deal with it. So good job at digging, though. You guys have been doing really good at that. And now we have plenty of polluted. Oh, that's probably where all this oxygen is coming from. The polluted water. So let's, uh, let's help with some of that. Where's my power cable? So let's put some power into this. And 
That should help. I really want you guys to, oh, wire, this is made of steel. No, 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 no. And this needs to be made of copper, copper, copper. This wire should be destructed. The, the what else am I making out of steel here? This really shouldn't have defaulted to steel, even if that's the thing I have the most of. It is far too precious for them to do that to me. Why are you guys... Oh yeah, we don't have a dedicated builder, that's why. Yeah, see, it's only like filling it up for like one kilo per, se per second. Okay, so now we just need someone that has nothing better to do than to build because we don't have a dedicated builder on this asteroid. Well, this looks pretty good. Once we have, we transport those uh, eggs over, we should get to go for that. Now, come on. Before the next tick, so that this works. Okay, so the idea here will be that once, we turn it on for 60 seconds. So after this turns to true, we keep it true for 60 seconds. Even if it's telling me to turn it off. So this should start being, okay. And now we finally, what? Is it really just straight up? How much is it trying to? Oh, okay, so I see the problem. So I don't want to do that going forward. I want to... This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make it so that if we come back with some polluted, some oxygen, we try to recycle it. That should work. Okay, so this automation should work. So you sh should have sent the red signal by now. No, you haven't sent the green signal? You should have sent a green signal. Why are you not sending a green? Missing qualified crew. Okay. Oh, I really was hoping auto would work like I wanted it to. So, because there's no crew inside, it is still sending a red signal and therefore it will not call the crew to come inside what is Nicola doing is it is he being called uh, so let's see vitals where are you what are you doing you're sleeping oh you're not sleeping Okay, so it is working as expected. So now you're in here. So now you, well, where? It brought me down there. You can't follow a dupe when they tra like they transition like that because it'll just bring you very far away. Okay, so then we can, so we should make this one second. We don't even need this. It will only turn green once the dupe is actually in there. And you're getting cooked, aren't you, John? Gene. So how about you go and take a rest? Okay, perfect. So that should work. So now he should land on uh, Shrubara, provide us some oxygen, and then leave right away. Oh, someone got slime lung. Contact with slime lung. Oh, that's not that bad. Okay, so that should work. That should work. That, well, we'll find out, but I'm assuming, it's big words, I'm assuming it will work. Um, okay, so utilities, let's start, oh, the oil well is already started. Uh, it needs power though. So let's, what do we have the most of here? None of it, I guess. Um, so let's put some heavy watt wire and bring it down here. Uh, let's keep it going here. Oh, we can't. 
Okay, and copper ore, I guess. Let's use, use a little bit. Of, yep, we need iron to make steel, so let's use copper ore for this. Why is it? Oh, we don't have any copper ore. What? But it just. Uh, okay, apparently we don't have any copper ore. Iron ore? How? Don't. Like, iron ore is very. Do I have any more metals? So we have some iron, we have some lead, we have lots of lead. We have copper up here. These are made of copper ore. Huh, did not know that. Yeah, we are very low on metals. We have a lot of lead though. Can we maybe take advantage of that? I just use lead instead. So like use I uh, have let's clean this out. What if I use uh, as long as yeah, it shouldn't cause too much of a problem. So let's use some lead here and let's make this out of lead instead of making it out of Nothing here should go above lead melting temperature, right? What's the lead melt? 320. Yeah, we should be fine with, uh, we, we sh won't go over the lead melting temperature. So once that's all in place, uh, we will also want to have ventilation. Uh, so automation. Yeah, I want to put automation there. We'll, we'll add that in a bit, so. Automation here, and some ventilation. Right there. That should allow us to get started. Vent out of this, put some oil in here. You are idle, because we're done this dig. Do we ever, where, where are you in the, the trip? You're still on the way. You're gonna be there in six seconds. Talk about good timing. Okay, so what's next then? I can keep digging down. There's plenty of polluted oxygen, plenty of opportunities for us. Uh, and there's the radioactive uh, biome. A little, still far down though. But yeah, so let's keep going down. We will want to dig everything out eventually anyway, so let's get started on that, right? It does keep the dupes busy. There we go. Hmm, that ladder is going to be a problem. We'll deal with it when it comes to it. Yeah. That's okay. Maybe I should, uh, by default, let them store a little bit more. But so you should land. No one should be allowed out. Because we have enough. Like, this is a green signal. No one's allowed out. But we gotta wait until we have unloaded all of the oxygen. Da, 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 da. Okay, and as soon as we unloaded it, they should launch. Perfect. That worked as expected. No intervention necessary. Now that, that provided us with a good amount of oxygen for... Yeah, see now we have some pretty good oxygen pressure all over the place. Even if we're digging this out, we still have some pretty good oxygen pressure. Then you should be on your way. I'm gonna bring this up to four kilos. 
of storage space for both you and Hope. Well, Hope's already at four. Uh, I can't do this type of automation with Hope. Uh, as Hope doesn't have the ability for us to control the input. But as soon as you land, I just want to last check to make sure that this automation works as expected. He should be allowed out. For, oh, there he is. He should be now allowed out. For 60 seconds, we should be filling in the oxygen. This should allow him to keep up with his morale. He's actually, like the schedule, Nicole, where is he? Yeah, so we might want to, like at this rate, he's gonna be launched off before he, during his next downtime and sleep. So we might need to make this a little bit more reliable so that uh, he spends a little bit more time on here to make sure his morale, because like his morale is lower than expected, his stress is going up. So this is nice, but it is not very nice. Then you saw he like he was supposed to be sleeping and he went to work anyways. So I could have an astronaut schedule. So let's rename these to keep it better organized. Morning uh, okay, fuck on. Morning off. Uh midday off. Evening off. And night off. Uh, yeah, so uh, So let's have an astronaut. So let's delete the schedule. Schedule. And this is for people who are dedicated astronauts. They will have downtime all the time. And yeah, so they will just be able to sleep and relax when they're not in the ship. So that will give them 60 seconds to keep up their morale needs. Uh, so on that note, so we will have, so essentially what we're having is dedicated astronauts. Uh, if we want dedicated astronauts, which is great, we could definitely use dedicated astronauts. Seems like something that uh, we want. We will probably need to sweep the skills of certain dupes and replace them. Like maybe have a dedicated sleeping quarters for astronauts uh, so that we can still have eight working dupes here. Cause like losing Nikola will still suck. Even if like this is for the best, he's still a very good dupe that has, they like will clean our base and keep everything in tip top uh, level. Like he's, he's not the one that's dedicated to uh, storing that's bubbles, but nonetheless, like losing that dupe productivity just so they can go up and down rockets constantly is a little bit of a bummer. Like we still have to feed him he still breathes oxygen. There should be a way to be able to like inject oxygen using like a pipe. That'd be nice. Talking about oxygen. Oh, we definitely need to uh, pump in some oxygen in here. Bubbles, please do this. Hope is still good, right? Yeah. So, I don't know about completely ruining their productivity. But instead of a timer, we might want to like have this be like a time of day where it can start, like it stays on until a time of day, use like memory instead of just a timer. So that we always launch at the same time of day, we always like start filling the tank at the same time of day 
to ensure that he can have his break and sleep and not go crazy on us. Uh, talking about skills though, does he have his rocketry plus? No, he does not. Now he does. Yeah, we might want to uh, give him some extra sleep time and stuff like that. So now he should have the rocket piloting hat. No, rocket piloting two hat. Because he is now our rocket piloter. Uh, he is our, he's basically a dedicated half-time rocket piloter, piloter. He should be being called right now, actually. Uh, yeah, people who are idle over here. Well, does that mean we are done? No, we are not even close to done with building this. Why are you idle? You should be, like, digging that out. You guys are very hot, so that is problematic. That's why we have some petrol, because these tiles are very hot. Uh, almost every single one of these abs abyssalite tiles are very hot. They all are in the thousands of degrees. So we don't really want anything touching those tiles, sadly. So, we can start digging, so it would be here, we can start digging over here, it would be here, but we don't want anything landing on, oh this one's okay, it's already, it's already boiled things, so we'll do that. But we don't want anything landing here or here. Oh, that's going to be a pain because there's nothing in the way. Um, let's put two blocks there. So once we dig this out and put and build these two blocks, then we can start to dig a little bit more in this direction. And let's build a block there. Same time, let's build a block there and a block there. That should allow, yeah, this little skull dupe stokes. That's steam, that's literal steam. Like, you guys should really like start digging from up to down, not down to up. For some reason, more than enough work here in my opinion, but you guys are, you require a skill? What? Skill required operation? Elect you need to be an electrical engineer to build the heavy walk connector. That's new. Uh, you did not used to need to be an engineer to build the better wires. That is, that kind of sucks. That really does suck. Well, let's see then. Uh, do we have anyone else that could potentially become an electrical engineer without too much of a hassle? I guess you can. It shouldn't be too much of a hassle, which was my requirement. Uh, so for you, are you supposed to be a digger? No, you have the electrical engineer hat, All right? So that's improved tinkering is the hat you currently have. So let's give you the electrical engineering hat. Uh, yeah, they're all very morale hungry already. See, and now he left. There should be plenty. Oh, there is not. You're suffocating. No one actually brought the delivery for the oxygen to this one. Hopefully. Oh, you're suffocating. That's not good. How long before you get there? 10 seconds. You should be at this map. Oh, there you go. Still 
to leave to get some oxygen in his blood in his body. That should call him back. And then they should launch. Are we not done? There we go. I think he can hold his breath for long enough to return back home. Or not, maybe not. But they should still be able to breathe up here. No, no, go up here. Oh no. This did not work as I... Why? Uh, how much time before you make it back? I'll wait too long. Well, sorry. He is not willing to go and breathe some the oxygen up here. We have very little oxygen, but there is oxygen and he'd rather die. Okay, well, I guess we, uh, we have room for another dupe. And let's change the crew. View interior. No, change crew. We don't want any crew for this one. I guess that just wasn't long enough for people to uh, come and deliver like the oxygen here. I thought I gave them plenty of time to deliver the oxygen. Deliver a little bit, that's a little bit more oxygen. Ah, uh, such problematic. So let's make the crew for this one. No one can do it now. So that was like barely enough time with yellow priority to provide one can of oxygen with the amount of time I tell them to wait in between launches. So what I'm getting from that is we need to wait longer between launches to make that a little bit more reasonable. Uh, so let's make this a priority nine again. And let's change the crew here to being you. And back to auto. So now the launch should happen automatically. And we will just need to get a new dupe and bury this one. Or should we just leave him in here? No, we'll bury him. Uh, medicine. Give him a. Uh, we just dumped the whole. Yeah, we should have plenty of oxygen for now. Hopefully that longer period of time where we spend landed will allow them to provide us more oxygen. Now we do need to figure out what we're gonna do about uh, carbon dioxide though. That is more of a problem. I really think we should, like we can't. I need to find out if we can fill in this rocket with an auto sweeper. So let's bring out an auto sweeper, but auto sweepers would eventually overheat, right? Even with steel, it's 275. That that is not like that will overheat, but being near a rocket, the rocket exhaust would overheat this rocket, like this auto sweeper. There's no way for us to use an auto sweeper to fill in both of these tanks and there's no automation, uh, there's no shipping rails 
to fill in either of these tanks. Oh, that's so such a difficult form of op like automation. Eventually, like we will get to the point where we either don't have enough oxygen. Uh, so let's actually let's add some uh, automation for that. We should have. Uh, there and so we need to have a carbon dioxide solution well doesn't this naturally so where is it uh algae terrariums yeah it removes some carbon dioxide and produces some oxygen from algae we don't have any algae, though. But this would help us resolve our, like we can also put that there, but then there's be no way for us to get on that second floor. Like we're really starting. And we'd have to find a way to make the water work. It's just not gonna happen. Doesn't algae terrarium also just like spew up polluted water? Yeah, it does. Uh, so that wouldn't work either. Hmm. Like we can have a temporary maintenance and put an algae terrarium or a carbon skimmer solution in there while we maintain, like, but, so the idea here would be that if we would have automation also, so that we can automate so gas element sensor and a notification here. So maybe I also want to put in override mode. So that worked. We're actually doing very good on oxygen right now. Like the oxygen pressure is really good. Even with all this digging we're doing down here. Yeah, you are drinking that oxygen. That oxygen. We really need to. Uh, Wow, that oxygen is going down and going down quick. Mainly because we have a pretty good amount of carbon dioxide. Okay, so now we're good. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna make myself. Where is it? Uh, automation. Make myself an off switch for this. So I have. I want to have this over here and an end gate over here. And destroy this wire. So the idea is this. So someone's scalding. Wow, you are very red. So that means like this will never get built. Yeah, this will just never get built, it seems like. We provided all the lead. Yeah, pretty cool to look at. It's just, you know, no one's willing to build it. And, oh, we, we finally have copper now. That's nice. Do we have? I don't know why all, all of a sudden we decided that we had the copper, but cool. Oh, that's 
pass it up here. And let's get myself a heavy joint. Look at that, we have copper now. So we built, we produced all the steel that we had scheduled. Should get rid of all that junk. Okay, so I should keep on pissy for a little bit. Oh, we don't have the material that is required to make that work. So let's use aluminum. So hope has landed. Did we destroy that uh, pipe? That one uh, automation wire. We did, so this will never turn on. So that will allow us to make sure, like this is basically in a permanent. So this is a permanent, this will be permanently parked. Once I have this all set up, I'll be able to turn the switch, which will let it either not launch or if like if we need to do cleaning or something like that uh yeah so now that we're in this asteroid we need to redo all that as that was all done with material expected to be able to be gotten from a different location so we need this we need uh atmo sensor let's put it here We'll need, no, I don't want this made of steel. Oh, it's just because I have more steel than anything else. So it's like, um, no, I want it up here. So it automatically tries to make it out of, like if you don't select uh, something beforehand, it will just use the one you have the most of and I have the most of steel. So it will use steel. Okay, so that should allow me to Yeah, so I have the printable. I'm gonna replace our dupe with uh, someone who's at rocket tree farming. Look at that. Won't build has a useless level two digging skill. Could be worse. Uh so airy. Look at that, perfect. We needed a rocket tur. So we're getting a rocketer. Uh, we're gonna start you with uh, some extra carrying though. So if, while you're not rocketing, your priority will be to farm and then supply. So and your schedule will be, so which one has too many? This one, right? So we should have two. So, Dev, so are you in the right one then? No, there should be one with less. So there we go, you're in this one. There we go. So go to bed. You're so slow. Okay. So I guess I just need to make myself notifications. This will last for a long time, but you know, every now and then I will need to tell it to, uh, if there is no automation to turn this off and on, nope. I can add a door that can and cannot be passed, depending on the level of O2 in this room. So if it is below 1,000, that sounds pretty reasonable. Then we say operational V or X V oxygen low. Low.
That's why I can be able to make it longer. So, operational, uh, boing boing, pop, boing boing, uh, pause but no zoom in. This is uh, carbon dioxide, and if we notify, so uh, figure XV. CO carbon dioxide, CO2 levels high, and we can add operational pause. So I'm over here. That can I still click on that? And it'll, oh, that, that actually works. That's slightly surprising. I wasn't necessarily expecting that to work. One moment. allow us to like it doesn't solve the problem it'll just like be like hey we have too much carbon dioxide or hey we don't have enough oxygen uh, if there just was a way to I guess if we move that there actually yeah let's do that so let's deconstruct this and deconstruct this That should allow us to put a door here that we can turn it off and on, depending on our need for oxygen. Come on, guys. There we go. Yeah, let's see. that. So let's put you here. And let's put a manual door here. Oh wow, that level of oxygen is, it's just not that much. We should have plenty of algae now though, right? So let's put back some algae uh, diffusers. Let's put ourselves an algae diffuser here, which will allow us to, at the very least, you know, Oh, look at that, what's this? Our car a carbon dioxide geyser down here. And some liquid chlor chlorine. It's really, really cold down here. Negative 50s. No, it's a little warmer here because there's a crack. But, and the beta finery. That'll be interesting once they make that work. Uh, but assuming we can get that built, wow, we are really that bad on seeds. Like, how long have we been? Hmm. Well, I'm trying to focus on getting this working. No, not hope. I'm trying to focus on getting you working. So. The idea is that if I make it so that it has to be above, I mean, below 2000. So if it's true, then we open this door. Else, oh, but can they reach this from up here? I don't know, we're about to find out.
Why can't you just go to your bed? I, like, don't you have a bed here? Okay. So you move to here. Oh, you're not the right person. So where is... Yeah. So then can't I tell you to, like, this is your pot? I'd assume you would automatically regain your pot. Like, as soon as you land back down, right? It's really annoying that that's not how it works. Okay, so now we just need to build all of this and see, like, we'll leave this. Right now, there's someone who's supposed to deliver. So that should lock. Oh, this doesn't have a lock functionality. Well, that was my bad. Oh, and they were able to deliver through the gate anyways. Um, so that doesn't work. You're too high or three high? You're too high, right? You're three high. So you could go here, but you couldn't go here. You could go here. Which would allow us to turn you on and off, depending on the status of this. But that would make this space unusable then, right? No, because they could still come here. So let's try that. So destroy you, destroy you, destroy you. So we will want to have a door with an actual automation. We'll want some ventilation. You go here. And we'll put the storage bin here. We'll Set this up like that. And essentially, oh, I will need a not gate here then, right? To either keep the door open or closed, contrary to what this has to say. Okay, so let's just wait until this uh, wire is complete. And I think we should be in a good place to... Uh, get this started. Oh, I forgot to replace my uh, food, my refrigerator. I still need that. So we just need to build this wire. Okay. So that means now that I put reasonable gods, priority nine, no one will deliver it until we detect that we are underneath 200 kilos of pressure here. And then this will door will close and that will turn back on. This will accept any, no, not any food. This will only accept, uh, where is it? Swampy Delights, four kilos of it. And so let's clean this all up and I think we are good to go. Yeah, I think that makes this a little bit more stable and does notify me whenever there's an issue. So this will, without using any hacks, it's not hard. Uh, in case you don't know, you can easily build outside of these walls. So you can't dig these walls, they're rocket steel but you can build on top of them. That will, doing this will let Duke destroy these walls and 
Well, it will destroy this wall and put the normal tile, and then you can destruct the normal tile and have access to this entire zone here. Now, I'm not a fan of that. Well, like, it works, and it's fun, but I'm pretty sure they will uh, patch that out. So, assuming they patch that out, this should be a pretty stable uh, circumstance. Like, the food will rot, and you can't stay in here permanently, but I only expect them to need to stay in here for about half a cycle. So, given they need to stay in here for half a cycle, and I don't really have the capacity to... Actually, do we even need a refrigerator? Like, they don't need to stay in here for very long. Uh, no, no, let's cancel. Let's have a refrigerator, just in case. I don't want anyone starving just because I was cheap on... Uh, getting them food so let's yeah so let's make that a high priority that's a seven so as soon as that is done right, so we have to turn this off automation wire let's attach it here shouldn't oh okay this is not attached if they shouldn't that be true, but yes, it should be true. It's just there's nothing there. Okay, so that should be you providing the food. Perfect. And let's sweep everything up. Once that's done, this is all ready. We'll be able to start doing our regular trips again, which is great. And let's hope it actually works like we wanted to this time. Let's uh. I think the problem is they can't actually reach that to repair it. So let's give them a, a boost to reach that to repair it. So you're going to go in there, clean up the rest of the stuff here. Perfect. Uh, set the pilot, make sure it's still Lyra. Very good. Okay, so auto and turn things back on. So the automation should allow the carbon dioxide to flow in, and as soon as we have enough carbon dioxide for 50%, it should call Lyra to come pilot this. There she comes. And as soon as she's in there, it should launch. And... Why is it... It's complaining about the oxygen pressure. Like, that's not... Like, I get it that we have a lot of carbon dioxide, but uh, that should be planned. So it launched. Overheating? Oh, no. Well, I guess I need to build this out of uh, steel. Nothing else overheated. So if I rebuild that out of steel, should be fine. Oh, oh I dropped something. Sorry about that. So let's build that out of steel. And the, how's the temperature wise for everything else in here? Nothing else here really has any concerns. The, the wiring should be fine. Copper wire has a melting point of a thousand degrees. So I don't think anything is gonna get that hot here. The carbon dioxide that it shoots out is not that hot. So, we should be good for that. So, it should be landing very soon. Yeah, 36 seconds. Oh, it's so quick. Uh, and let's see how its landing pad is doing. Looking very good. We're digging very deep. Really? Okay, so, you should be saying... Okay, so the pressure is just not stable in here. Okay, so now the pressure is low. We should land, no problem. Um, we should be able to unload. And we'll stay here until the unloading is done. Very good. And launch right away. So, we 
we even need this notification then if like we don't really care that much about it? Like we went from 2,500 to 1,000 ish. If we go through that oxygen pretty quick, but we're almost back. Okay, now we're back. Rocket fuel is low. So if we view interior, now this should be a priority of bubbles to come and fill this in until that triggers uh, need uh, knowledge that we have enough. This should take 200 seconds before it starts to... Oh, we are actually have a different problem now. We are out of carbon dioxide. Uh, we are delivering the oxygen, but now we are out of carbon dioxide. Uh, our dupes just aren't breathing enough, is what I'm getting from that. Uh, hmm. Yeah, it's all pumping a bunch of polluted oxygen to the top of the map. That's not working in our favor at all. Hmm. We should also need to set this up and set up our dupes. So I'm going to take a short break here. Uh, everything seems to be going well, but I need to either find a source of carbon dioxide or uh, I guess I can try to get this one, but it's like that's one kilo per tile. It's not that much. I need, I need 50 kilos, so 50 of these tiles per launch. Like, that's only, like, all of, all of this is one launch. All of this is another launch. That's like four or five launches worth of oxygen, not carbon dioxide, and we definitely don't breathe out enough carbon dioxide to keep this going per permanently. It does work. It's a good proof of concept. This is... As long as we have the carbon dioxide, this will launch and return, provide oxygen for the dupe. Everything should be fine. We shouldn't have another incident. Uh, we can probably get rid of this. That seems kind of useless. Uh, I don't need to be told about it. They just need to resolve the issue. Uh, but yeah, so I'll be right back. Uh, give me one moment. Uh, And uh, so give me five minutes, guys.
Hello everyone, I'm back. Thank you for waiting. Uh, so let's get back to this. Oxygen not included. Trans. There we go. Okay, so this is a pretty good state, but as I said, uh, carbon dioxide is uh, problematic at the moment. It's not something we have a lot of. So, we need to resolve that. We have plenty of coal, especially now that we have hatches. So I feel like <laughs> we just don't need the power, but I feel like we probably want to start burning coal like madmen to make some carbon dioxide. So let's go in that direction. Uh, we'll make a coal pit, essentially. And this one with some. Where we will... And they won't be connected to anything in particular. And we'll burn until so the automation for this. So we will uh, gas element sensor. So we will burn until we sense carbon dioxide here and here. So we will then use end gate so carbon dioxide is detected that would give a true signal and we want to put a not in here. Same thing for this side carbon dioxide is detected we want to go like this. So how much so not gates this way and this way. Okay, so that should work. Uh, at least get us started on that. So on that note, I do feel like we are very low on refined metals. So allow manual use, but I don't want you to bring us steel. I want you to bring us lead. Let's put, let's transfer over lots of lead. This asteroid has plenty of lead, 41.4 tons. So let's bring over quite a bit of that. Uh, Mima, what's wrong with Mima? Okay, she's happy. Mainly because people who try to uh, do too much work down here, because it's really warm down here, are feeling the pain. We're still keeping the heat at bay with our cooling loop, which is working wonderfully. Uh, we are just... But I thought I got rid of that message, CO2. Yeah, I got rid of that message. Apparently it wasn't deleted when that one, that when that signal was sent. Okay, so that should work perfectly for our needs right now. Uh, copper, so yeah, so as soon as we got enough oxygen in here, it turned this off. Let's make it a little bit more oxygen required. Oh, cool, it even allowed the bottle contents to stay in place. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, let's make it 2,500. I don't know exactly at what level the ears pop, but like even if, oh that's interesting. So we can have a like a half empty bottle just pretending to be there. Yes, I didn't think of that. 
Uh, do we not? Oh, we don't have any sand here. Really? Okay. Uh, so what we need for that then is that's where is it? Refinement. Let's make a composter. Let's put it up here. Composter gives us dirt back, which we can. Uh, this one gives us polluted dirt. We can use the dirt in the rock crusher, I think. Oh, to sand. We can get some sand from the sedimentary rock, the ignis rock. We have a lot of ignis rock. So let's make some sand. Let's make five tons of sand. Apparently this asteroid doesn't come with a lot of sand. That's good though. We have plenty of polluted oxygen. We're not going to suffocate with all this oxygen around. That's for sure. So I guess the next thing we want to probably care about is trying to tame this volcano. Oh, this is pretty much done being siphoned. That's nice. So let's mop this and then we can, we can uh, start digging in this direction then. Uh, every four, we put another ladder. That should allow us to... Why is this not launching again? Oh, because I have the giant 200 second delay, which is like a third of a day. But as soon as that finishes, it should start the launching process for Maybe I don't want 200. 200 seconds is a lot. We did produce and see this one. It still has 5.5 kilos of oxygen in here. So it's just two tiles at the moment of oxygen. So it's not like we're going to, even if we run out of oxygen, it's not going to be an immediate uh, concern Building, let's just get myself some Nutri Bars. Not very concerned about that. Yeah, it's still there. How much, so do we have uh, any lead on this asteroid yet? We do, okay. Let's keep track of that. Yeah, I guess we also have to consider the fact that uh, even if we send it through, which it looks like we are. We are not sending it. We do not have enough carbon dioxide backed up for this yet. So we definitely want to If you don't, if you don't see carbon dioxide, run these machines. Same thing on this end. If you don't see carbon dioxide, run these machines. We can add some automation. They are not there for power. They are there for carbon dioxide usage. So. Yeah. 
Make these pretty high priority. Meep is like sleeping or something, which is why they don't care for it right now. Oh, they actually want to go down here and it's really hot. How are we doing with cooling this area anyways? Slowly, very slowly. And it's just, this pool is just not cooling to the effectiveness that I would have liked. Uh, I'm guessing you are uh, dormant and you are active, but well, it requires emptying. That's why it's building up. We don't have anyone that is willing to do tidying at the high priority. That's what we lost from the dupe. So, Airy, your schedule, your priority. Oh, priority for Airy should actually. Let's bring up tidying. That should. Because this needs to be done. Someone needs to care. And that someone will be you. So, that should be producing some carbon dioxide. Which should be all. going down here. Let's make myself a little bit more copper. Actually, why are we, why are we even making these out of copper? Let's make them out of lead. We have plenty of that. Still not done with this copper wire, wow. This copper wire just doesn't wanna... I guess people are just too hurt. From people being in this area. They'll get to it eventually. There's no rush for that build. I'm much more interested in the, this build right here to, pro to provide me some carbon dioxide. Look at that, we're actually, we're making quite a bit of carbon dioxide with this. We're turning this hole into carbon dioxide. What did I, I connected you to the wrong. Uh. That's okay. We have a filter, uh, eventually, so that will get filtered. We aren't pushing anything in yet. We are waiting for a little bit more buildup of carbon dioxide. We should consumable or coal. Let's put some coal in here. This will produce quite a bit of heat though. We have quite a bit of cold around here, but nonetheless, uh, this is not going to be a cold operation. Okay, so let's see, you would like to finish building that. I would like you to finish building that, I guess is also an accurate statement. So you construct this. Uh, and let's try to, so in the meanwhile, I guess we can start 
being about getting Dracos back. So where are my Dracos? Do I have any Dracos? I should have Dracos. Did I kill all my Dracos that I had access to? There's some pips. Drek. Yeah, there's no Drek like eggs. Oh, there's a Draco. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I want the Dracos back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by uh, sending hope over. Uh, do you need more oxygen? No, you don't. You'll be fine. And we will ranch that creature. Uh, so that should be underneath food. We should be able to add that. It won't work there. But let's destroy this and start and send and put send this over. It'll give them some water and some oxygen, which will be nice. And it will allow us to bring back Drekos, which we can then, like this one will be eight Dreko or Dreklets, Otharangle surplus. And this room is too big, right? It was supposed to be too big. Uh, So, how many tiles do I need to clean out here? Almost 11 tiles worth of. So that's seven, eight, it's too many. So seven and four should be enough. Well, let's So this is eight, meaning I need three more tiles. Oh, that's uh, add them here. And we will start putting some water in here. Six enable auto bottling water. So this building should allow us to, and we'll need power apparently. We have some lead, so let's start operation, replace all wires with lead wires. We will slowly but surely replace all of the wires with lead wires. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then we'll need to also take this. Oh, do we really want to use this one though? That one's already pretty packed. Well, I guess it's mostly nothingness, so. There you go. Okay, so that should allow us to eventually get to the point where we can merge these two wires and delete this whole extra column here. That would be nice. Uh, you guys have nothing to do. Let's get rid of this. Uh, where's the ladder here supposed to be? Over 
this. We don't want to touch any of that. Okay. That should allow us to start digging down here. This is all pressurized, cold but pressurized, so should be good. How is Hope doing? Okay, Hope is doing good. So let's launch Hope. Uh, change crew. I will launch off uh, Camille as my pilot. Crew, let's go. That one isn't automated, but it will, it has what is necessary for it to launch. That's for sure. Is there a reason why that's not built yet? I have no idea. How about I, uh, yeah, that, that'll work. Okay, uh, what's the problem? Oxygen is low, what? You have so much oxygen. I don't understand that error message. So launch. Let's get this ship on the way. Okay, so it's a slower ship, significantly slower, but we will, uh, once we get to this one in the same sense we probably want to add an override switch as we have added for the uh, other asteroid so where is the switch the switch we can an and gate so assuming we get that signal then we put a switch we put some aluminum. Okay, so that should allow us to keep hope. Are you got like oh there's only four kilos of food in here. Well, at least it has a kilo of You'll be fine. Yeah, it's a slower trip, significantly slower trip. But it's not too slow enough that you will die. Cross fingers. Um, okay, so let's see what's going on here. Some carbon dioxide. Some pollute. Some. Oh, idle. Okay, yeah. Sorry. It, the notifications need a little bit of work since it can get very confusing. Hmm. It's interesting, I'm getting a little bit of lag. And it's not that big of a base yet. I guess it, this will need some optimization. Like, this is my speed. With it not being paused, and yeah, this definitely needs some optimization. That's interesting. So people are getting a little warm working down here, as expected. No, oh, I don't want to take that. So you're gonna come down here. Oh, are you gonna faint? Hopefully not. Oh! Someone come pick her up because she cannot breathe down here. There we go. Two people are incapacitated. Well, someone come pick up Otto, please. He somehow didn't fall. So he's still able to breathe, but he will still die if he's not picked up. Duplicates are trapped. Build that and now you're not trapped. So on that note, ladders, higher priority than not ladders. 
Ay, these dupes. Oh, hope got here. Perfect. So now let's let everyone move around. No, 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 no. We are not launching. We are going to go in here and build us up a critter drop off. And wrangle up the Dracos. There's one. I don't see another one. Oh, there's another one. I think I should have two. So that's the amount of Dracos that I would have expected to see. And here I want to, on priority nine, drop off Drekos and Drekliffs. As many as you can find, please. So, come on, we should be able to have someone ranch these. Wait, what? Camille. This down there, apparently. We should have plenty of people that can ranch things, and you should be able to come out. Oh, you're just eating, that's why. Okay, so that should allow us to... There's no one who wants to do this at the moment. This should be a proper size room now. Per... Oh! My calculations were off by one. Uh... Surprises me a little bit, yeah. So let's make this a little bit higher priority. We want to put in the water here. And then we will remove all the oxygen in here. Uh, and so if we go here, nope, oh, you're not there yet. Where are my uh, Dracos? There's one. What convinces you to eventually become a glossy? Mealwood, right? So you need mealwood to start. So you don't have any mealwood. So on this asteroid then. Oof. You guys are. Oh, and Cavado needs uh, to come in here too. How about we uh, cancel all of these operations for now? Let's stop sending dupes in this very warm location. Apparently. Um, oh, they're a little too rough on the dupes. I'm almost out of dupes that are not in beds. So on that sense though, on that note, so where's my seeds? Uh, seeds. You should have mealwood, right? Uh, no? Fire, buddy, fungal, group, joya. Oh, mealwood, right there. Okay, so let's send over. Yeah, okay, so let's send over the mealwood seeds. Might take a little bit because everyone is not in a functional mood right now. Uh, they are not in a good place. We could also go here, view interior. Uh, we'll want to put a storage bin up here. What is. There we go. There we go. So now we have both our Dracos in here. Perfect. Now they're going to be on our way back. These Dracos, hopefully, are not too old. 74 and 75. They're not too old. Okay, so the only thing I want to do now is bring over some, uh, can you add some food? Oh, because it needs specific types of food. Let's destroy that. Oh, there's oxalite, that's why. That's what the, that is, okay. Uh, and so we want to bring over seeds, specifically mealwood seeds, as many as you can. 
And let's empty this because this is starting to get a little bit uh, oxygen starved. Okay, so he's emptying the oxygen. Good. And do we have anyone? Yeah, so then we're bringing some seeds over. So if we have seeds coming from that direction, then we don't need seeds from this direction. So we can go back to requesting lead. So I was hope doing. How many seeds did you deliver? Three seeds. I think we could use a little bit more seeds than that. And then we will, so let them do a little bit, a couple more uh, trips. And today is uh, Thursday. Oh, look at that. It's almost the end of the week. Just one more day of work and we'll be good to go. So today, uh, so as soon as I feel like we have enough seeds, we still only have four seeds. Okay, well, apparently we're only going to have four seeds. Okay, so let's get this thing ready then. Uh, crew launch. Oh, never mind. Did you melt? Oh, I guess it can melt aluminum. Gold has a lower melting temperature than aluminum, I think, so... Either, either way, once we have the ability to click on launcher, I will do it manually. Knowledge, launch. There we go. So you should be back on your way with some very important cargo. And we have some new prints, so eh, let's give the food to this asteroid. There we go. One of our crops are wilting, that's fine. Really? Still no one wants to give us water. I enabled auto bottling. We have water here. I really want this water. But no one wants to bring us water. Unable to all right, you'll be back soon. How is my carbon dioxide production machine going? It's not bad. Pretty stable. I wonder how much I'm losing from overflow. I mean how much of it is actually dumping down properly. We're almost there though, and our coal reserve doesn't really seem like it was hit. Okay, so sleep only. At least have a small layer of hydrogen to begin with. We'll breathe away the oxygen, leaving some carbon dioxide, which we will then be able to more easily there we go. There's some water. Oh, that was actually really quick. And now that I brought up the priority, we're almost done. Only one more trip and we will have brought enough water over to, uh, for my needs temporarily, of course. There we go. Yeah, I should fill in this one and have plenty there. So now let's destroy. 
both of those. We don't need them anymore. That water seal should allow us to keep a nice hydrogen atmosphere with some level of oxygen for uh, our meal wood. Oh, there you go. You got your, your back. Good, 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 good. Okay, so all, let's not launch right away. Let's fuel inside here. And let's uh, do a level seven. Wrangle of these guys, and this should be a level eight priority. Uh, should also allow us to. Why can't you plant? You don't need to plant something that takes water, right? You can plant anything. So I want to let me plant the mealwood seeds. No, it's in hope. Okay, so those are the seeds. Let's uh, see if I can plant them now. Nope. Oh. I guess I'll have to wait until someone comes and sweeps them up. Oh yeah, yeah. This is probably not helping with. I need to make myself a kill chamber. This is probably not helping with the lag. Still no go for that. finally took the seeds out of here so that means I should now be able to plant you know, oh, I don't even see the mealwood seeds anymore ay 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 they just they really don't want to cooperate with this these seeds here but perfect there we go now I can plant mealwood seeds priority six and let's copy that priority everywhere Oh yeah, and I want to disable harvest. Oh, I can't do that. They need to actually plant them before I can just tell them to not harvest them. There we go. They need oxygen, polluted oxygen, or carbon dioxide atmosphere. I need to take some oxygen from here. Bump it in here. Uh, and let's do another batch of hydrogen. Hydrogen just takes two levels. We can maybe make it take two, another level or two. The oxygen in here is very overpressurized. But once it drops down from people actually being in here. <coughs> yeah, but I don't need a liquid intake. I would rather it not tell me that there's a problem when there is no problem. I'm just gonna. Put this here, even if I have no intention of using it. Perfect, okay. So let's see how these lead, uh, we're not even close to being ready to make the transition. 
these are mostly done on this end, but then we have this area here, which is not mostly done. It's working, it's just, it's working hard. And like I said, I need 50 tiles or 25 tiles per launch. So 25 tiles, that's, that's a lot of carbon dioxide per launch. Like, I've seen people use wood burners to try to power uh, try to power these things. Uh, power wood burners. Where's my wood, wood burner? So the wood burners will produce 170 grams of carbon dioxide per second, while the coal generator will produce only 20 grams of carbon dioxide per second. So yeah, the wood burner would definitely produce more carbon dioxide per second by a very large margin. Uh, even, oh, the petroleum generator would even be more. Uh, natural gas, yeah, the, the coal generator does not produce that much carbon dioxide. It's surprisingly very little. Uh, so once we have the industrial area on Zeppelin set up. Oh, we have people not in tree off beds. That's a, that's a nice change. Does that mean this is done yet? Nope, it's not done yet. But once we have this set up and we have actual, uh, let's put you over here. Okay, so you should have access to some petrol. I mean, some crude oil. So let's put some, let's do crude oil. Seven, enable auto following. Let's dump some of this crude oil from down here with zombie spores into this nice clean crude oil. No, no, let's not do that. This apparently has zombie spores, which don't die on crude oil, but they don't reproduce. Yeah, so they just they stay they stay dormant in crude oil. So I guess they would eventually like dissipate in numbers. Fine, I trust my my logic there. So crude oil, enable all of our link. This should allow them to take some of this crude oil here. Does anyone even care to do this? Lindsay does a little bit. But she just seems to have other priorities. Uh, but you should be growing. Yeah, you're just maxed out here. Is there a reason why these aren't done yet? Other than just, yeah, it's just general Busyness is the reason they're not done yet. You guys need a specific temperature to survive. 10 to 30 degrees, very picky. So I'll need to keep that in mind. I don't know exactly how we're going to do that just yet. But there we go. We're providing, we're providing all the lead. Oh, look at that. We are almost done with this. Once this lead is provided, we should be able to shear the Dreco for some reed fiber. Look at that. And then we can make ourselves some Atmos suits. And these will regrow and reproduce. Let's push this to sweep only and let it stabilize for a little bit. Look at that. 
Reed fiber. Nice. Okay. So now that we have some reed fiber, that's good. We need to find, uh, we have reed fiber, that means we can make Atmo suits. Let's, uh, lead. So that means these should be, so we can go here, connect this, and connect this, and destroy all of these. And with higher criticality to you, and I think it's here, right? You. Uh, so now we should be able to do a full 2000 load, which should be allowing us to turn this on more often, which would be very nice. It doesn't look like we're doing very well on the waterfront, though. Like... It seems like we're using up the water significantly faster than we're making it. Are you going to be running soon? Hmm. It's probably because we don't have a kill room. Like, if we had a kill room and all this would be turning into meat by now, we would have a lot more barbecue than we have right now. And I think that's probably where some of this the issues are coming from. We're not turning this stuff into barbecue. So, uh, we just have, we're almost done with this. Uh, can we, is this isolated? Yeah, this is now. So let's clean this up. So if it's above zero, let's remove I don't necessarily, yeah. Let's deconstruct this. I don't like it when I see that. I see a piece of lead fly from down here and just drop. It's like, that's not what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be doing it different. So let's add some automation here. Uh, so, stations, utilities, where's my automation, right? So, automation, if we have enough hydro here, turn it on, and we'll need to pipe this out, so, go here. And then switch to that. We will one, two. Right, it's uh this with no yeah let's do it that way no 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 I don't like this way of doing it so let's uh, instead do it this way so we'll be here that way and this way Okay, and from here we can have you go up here and have you go up here. There you go. That should uh, allow us to equally spread the crude oil to both of the machines, which will then allow us to uh, equally, like, uh, backfill both of them, so that running can happen a uh, little bit more efficiently. So in the same sense, here if this one is let's 
So if this one says so 80, 20, 80, 20. So if it's green, right, that's what this one does. High threshold. Sends a red signal when the reservoir is 80% full until it is at least. So it will send a green signal to start, which means we want it on. Yeah, we just don't need anything special here. We want them on when it says green and we want it off when it says not green. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, why do I have a second one then? Like this will burn off everything no matter what. I don't need two of these, I only need one. Does that mean I can just do like this then? Yeah. So this should allow us to start taking advantage of our first oil well. We have the water coming in, we just need the power and the way to make it go out. So I guess the most important thing first is the power. Uh, well, I guess the most important thing first is this asteroid, which is not doing too well. Because we have slime lung. I really want some, my, some, what? Mealwood? Uproot. No, no, I do not want mealwood here. I do not want, oh, I know what happened. Do I have a pip infestation here? I do. I'm surprised. I still have not received any additional blossom seeds. We have really not had any luck with blossom seeds. Okay, so that's pretty good. I guess next would be this level. Can I not? I guess there's something here. Meal, meal ice. Obviously, don't dig that out. This is five tiles. That's wider than normal. We also got a bunch of gold, which is nice. Like real gold. That's quite nice. Uh, okay, so... What else is there to do here then? Well, let's go back to focusing where we were. You are taming these, they're groomed, happy, and giving us nice Draco babies. You are making us a large pile of carbon dioxide. Look at that, we're getting, so we should be, yeah, we should be starting to pump things out. That's good. Oh, actually, we have a full line of, full lineup of carbon dioxide. We can actually start sending oxygen again. So let's turn this on. And you are should still be on auto, so this trip should be starting now. Oxygen should not be scarce. Last thing. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. They just they still seem to suck up that oxygen much more than they used to. Uh, maybe you need like a low oxygen consumer dupe for this kind of activity so that you know it's not an issue. But this is a quick trip. They're already they're ready at the destination. Oh, they're ready on Shrubora. Which will be a quick trip before they deposit the oxygen. Talking about quick trip, we never did connect that. 
So it'll deposit the oxygen. And they will launch. Perfect. How hot is this carbon dioxide? It doesn't look that hot. Like, it's 500. I guess if it was copper or something, it wouldn't melt, but it's not. This melting point 600. I'm surprised it melts. I would have guessed that it wouldn't melt. If I would have been a betting man, I would have bet that that wouldn't melt. Um, okay. Let's cancel that. Sweet. Okay, let's start making some automation adjustments here. So, right here. Oh, that kind of sucks. Completely forgot that, like, automation is something. So if we go here, we can't put them all through here. Can't put them through here. One, two. We have to destroy four? No. So if we put... Yeah, so if we put it here. One, two. Mm. Like, we would need to put it, this one here, at the very least. So we'll need to, at the very least, destroy these five here. Oh, I don't want to destroy all though. I want to destroy only buildings. Have I really not been destroying things so much that it still defaults to all? I guess we really should focus on the building part because this won't become a, As soon as we start destroying, it will become a non-stable. While we can still have it be a... Uh, yeah. So we'll need another one here to pick up anything that drops here and send it over. That's pretty good. Oh wow, we have a lot of lead. Okay, let's go to Zeppelin and let's ask them to stop sending us lead. Uh, we appreciate it, but I think we have enough for now. We don't want to take all your lead away after all. You need it too. Uh, so let's try to make another uh, wire into lead, I guess. Okay, and we go down here. So assuming we destroy this one wire, so we'll need this one here, uh, and we'll connect it here. And we can connect it here like this. And here like this. This will bring back a lot of ore we have a lot of ore stored inside of these wires. So once that's all done, oh, what's your problem? Crops wilting, that's okay. One could almost say that is expected and they would not be inaccurate. Oh, I thought they couldn't walk through this water. Maybe it needs to be more water for them not to be able to walk through it. Okay, yeah, should be able to reach that. But you reach all the way to here, you reach all the way to here. So if I put myself 
where is it? Where's automation or shipping? So if I put myself a conveyor loader right here and right here, everyone should be able to reach those. Uh, and we will connect them. So like this to here. So that should, we also need power for that. So let's get some more lead wires. There we go. So that should allow us to automate the pickup of a lot of these. Oh. Are you on your way already? Oh, look at that, and we have plenty of oxygen. Seems to be looking good. I don't like how you keep saying my breathability is bad, but everything seems pretty good. And you're making, I don't know how many trips this is, so I don't know. I guess you're sending your second trip. It's all automated now, other than that notification, which, you know, gets me every time. Other than that, everything is quite well automated to make that trip happen and to make sure that the dupe stays happy. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so I guess the main thing I want to do with this is now try to tame this gold volcano. I'm going to need to bring over some plastic and some... Yeah, some plastic. That's the only real thing I need to tame this is plastic. Do I need... I, I guess I'll need... No, I have gold amalgam. So I could always make the Aqua Tuner a gold amalgam as long as I'm sure it won't go above 125, which I, I can't be sure of that. So I'll also need steel. So gold amalgam and steel is what I'm gonna need for to tame. I mean steel and plastic is what I'm gonna need to tame this gold volcano. Look at that. This is working beautifully. I, I really like this. You have to expand this, but this is a very good proof of concept, at least to the beginning of how one of these types of systems could work in the future. This is completely automated, not perfectly sustainable, but automated, which is very important. So... Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, the oxygen. The pressure for the oxygen is great. Like, these are overpressurized. Some of the oxygen we're getting now is actually not making it all the way automatically inside of here, given how much pressure we have. That's really good. That's excellent. to start tackling this giant, really big vacuum that we have going on here. Uh, really, all we really need to do is like put a wall here. And I think then we just need to start like pressurizing it. That's a lot of space. Oh, look at that, you landed. Oh, you already came here. And you landed on the other side. Yeah, cause that's how you leave. So now you should be here. Oh wow, even steel this gets over this gets overheat damage. Wow. What temperature are you at? You're at 172. How are you your overheat temperature is 170 275, so you you overheat but you don't stay overheated for very long. 
Uh, I guess I know like this is not that tall, so I can always make this uh, higher. Like I only need eight plus two. But technically, I could always make these rockets higher so that I can keep the automation a little lower and not have to worry about the the issue with like we're literally losing steel from this process right like that's not good but hey it works as expected so who's in there yes yeah, you're populating the food let's see if we can clean out the copper here we'll be having someone come bring in some oxygen beautiful beautiful that's as automated as, as it gets for bringing back oxygen we'll need to set this up the same way we have operations set up but yeah i'm very happy with how this automation looks like it is working and it's giving our pilot uh a break every now and then she like she's made two trips so far and her morale is still great yeah no complaints well a few complaints but you know it could be worse it actually it works it's just not sustainable okay uh, we have plenty of carbon dioxide we could always use more, obviously. Let's look at this pipe. Like each trip takes a lot of carbon dioxide to run. We have a lot of coal, but we've already almost used 10 tons of coal just making a couple trips. It's not sustainable. Huh. We need to start getting this working and pumping the coal. Why are you not, are we really, did we really like run out of copper ore just enough for you not to be able to finish that last building? Oh uh, no, okay, makes sense I guess. I'll accept it. Yeah, so let's build that please, there we go. No, no. If it's above 300. So, that's... Well, at least it's a good test run, I guess. Why are you not running? Pipe is blocked? Ah. Yeah, let's turn this into a void. What? Why is it not... Right? Why is it not like this? Oh, and I put those the wrong... Oh, I put the entrance and exit the wrong side. Oops. Shoot. Yeah, so nothing came in these yet. So let's get rid of that one. Oxygen levels are fine. You gotta keep telling me this every time because there's too much carbon dioxide that I'm not planning on doing anything about just now. Oh, I got rid of the entire... Oh, it's not the plan. The plan was to do this. Now we build here, we build this here, this here, and this here. Perfect. So this one will move to eight, this one will move to seven. This one's complaining there's no output, which is not incorrect to say. Ah, it looks like our uh, heat sink is 
not winning the fight right now. What temperature are we running at? 27, 26. So, and the temperature in the environment is in the 40s. I think we need to uh, increase the amount of contact points for heat sinking. Let's make them a little lead. So this one, we'll move, move, make one here. We'll add one here and here and here. Here. Okay, and we'll make some metal tiles. So here, 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 here. That should allow us to drag a little bit more heat out of this environment and into our cooling system. What temperature is the water here? 15, that's pretty good. 17 and 14. So yeah, it's just not hot enough for long enough. We need to also, so that. So we'll need more steel. So that means we'll need more iron. There we go. So that should give us some greater heat increase. 25 and now we are coming out at in the 30s. That's much better. So 30s and now we're leaving in the 26s, 27s, we're going to need to increase the connectivity of this, of these pipes. This is good, this is progress at the very least. So now if we are above 2000 grams, let's get rid of that and that. So if we are above 2000 grams, let's uh, Start pumping out. There you go. So, yeah, so for about 2,000 grams, we will start pumping out uh, the natural gas that is going to happen here. Uh, and the natural gas will be pumped over here. As a secondary. Death bridge. There we go. So that should allow us to move the natural gas that we will eventually get from this oil well over here. Oh, you have a trap goop. Alright, what? You're just floating there. Auto. I guess we need to make this one. There we go. Let's destroy this one. And our main goal for to, uh, for opening this all up anyways was to replace this all with steel. Right, steel is better. I think I have some steel up here. Uh, radiant pipe steel. So 108 and 0 0.4 compared to lead, which we have plenty of. Yeah, lead, it's steel is just significantly better. So let's...
So let's uh, get that working. It should be a safe way to upgrade all of this without any concern. drastically so let's sweep that up and then we will make ourselves a new level of eh, we're good. how is the carbon dioxide level though yeah the carbon dioxide level is starting to become a problem and how is Shrubora doing on oxygen that is a nice pressure that is some nice oxygen Look at that, it's beautiful color. Beautiful color. And how is our astronaut doing in terms of stress and morale? Good. This is working. This is working as expected. These are very quick trips. Very regular quick trips. Almost pretty, pretty long lasting sustainability here, what we're looking for. It was not perfect, obviously, uh, but this is, this is pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay, so we sweep everything here. So let's seal it back up. So we got stop getting interference from the outside world in this system. Okay, so let's see how it's going. So we're, go we're this one came at thirty two point six. It came out twenty seven. So that's five degrees of cooling. That is pretty good. This one comes in at 11. Let's, let's that one's at 3.5. Negative 3.5. And let's follow it. And that's 3 degrees of heating, 5 degrees of cooling, doesn't really make sense. But yeah, 3 to 5 degrees of temperature transfer per second. I have some, that's going to be some quite a bit of heat deletion, which is exactly what we would want, right? Hopefully that should help, that should help us counteract, this is starting to creep up. Hopefully that should help us counteract it and push it down. Well, it looks like we are uh, using that a little too much, so let's... Uh, Is that where the pipes are? Yeah. So let's uh, help calm that down a little bit. And let's use some lead here. That should help drag up some of the heat. Because the heat, when, when it's coming in, it's still like, it's not the best temperature, but it's better than uh, 40 degrees that this is currently running at. I guess I'm making a lot of fossil to the limes. We have a lot of fossils from the recent digs. Oh, why did it pause? I feel like, so like a notification happened. It's the only one that I know of, but there's... Uh, it's starting to create. Hmm. That's interesting. I could also try deleting the carbon dioxide by just crushing it. Seeing how that would help. I think that's what happened here. Like, the reason why we have so very little carbon dioxide here is all the breathing out 
before we had a steady pocket of carbon dioxide would have just kept getting crushed by the amount of the pressure of the oxygen. So it was kind of stable. Ooh, wee sports. I don't think you have wee sports. You didn't have a cold biome, so let's give you a wee sport. I don't see a harm of it. No, oh, you're probably on your way back. Oh, you're done. Well, man, it's such a quick trip. And it's just providing us so much oxygen. <laughs> like, I still think 50 kilos of oxygen per trip is still unreasonably small amount of oxygen. But, it is working. Oh, you need to go and uh, go to bed. Is that what you're going to do? Yeah, okay. I'm still, I want to get this working. We have a little bit of natural gas in here. I guess the main thing that's stopping this from working is... Yeah, I haven't decided to let it start, I guess. I don't see any reason why we can't start this. We'll put in some of the water. Also, we are using cold water too, right? Like this is cold water. Hmm, that's interesting. We're not sending water from here. Not because, because we don't have it. What are we using water again on? Just the washroom and oxygen. We're, why are we not making more water from the polluted water? Because, huh, that's interesting. The way I have it set up, it, pri like, it prioritizes keeping some blue water for the food. So let's kill off a bunch. I do make, I need, yeah. I feel like a lot of my problems can be solved by just making a better a ki uh, kill room. You guys seem pretty happy, groomed, happy, tamed, reproducing. So, all and all. Let's just, yeah. The problem is these guys can walk out here. Which I didn't think they could if there was water in here, but apparently that's not stopping them. Maybe I need to add more water? I'm gonna try that. If they lay, if they lay an egg over here or something, <coughs> my machine won't pick it up. Unless I add a machine here, but that I don't have the space for that unless I, even if I did that. Like, I can't really see. But I'm pretty sure this does not, yeah, that does not fit all of these. So that, that would not work. Okay, so at least we have a little bit of automation. And you guys, whenever you're up here. Yeah. So there is some time where they will be spending where I don't like that they jumped that. I really don't. I thought they wouldn't do that. I really did. Hmm. Okay, so that should be working now. Providing crude oil, pretty warm crude oil, don't get me wrong. I'm not pumping anywhere.
Yeah, see, it, immediately you can see the temperature around here going down. Like, this works. It's just, we need to keep it up. Yeah, we'll definitely need... Oh, I guess we can start... Yeah, we'll need to make some suits. So let's start that process. Uh, we have this wire. It's not done being upgraded just yet. We have this one, which is done being upgraded, but... Yeah, so let's just use this wire. We'll just uh, make stations. Where is the exo exosuit forge? Uh, I don't know exactly how many. We'll make 20 of those. I don't know exactly how many. How is the temperature doing in this map, anyways? I don't have any real temperature control. I've just been letting it be. It's okay. We're getting some heat from the bottom starting to really pile up, but the cold here is still very cold and lots of it. So we still have a very, very large cold sink on the top here. Okay. You haven't launched yet. How is the carbon dioxide situation? Not looking too good. Yeah. I mean, that's not enough piles of carbon dioxide to get this to actually. So let's turn this off for a little bit. Let's stop these strips. We can also see if we can resolve this carbon dioxide situation. I don't think we have any, oh, oh we have 7.1 tons of it. Never mind. I thought I was going to say, I don't think we have any algae. No, we have a lot of algae. So we can only try to make a uh, stalling. Yeah, the heat from this thing, the heat down here in general, it's pretty, it's pretty strong. What? So you? You affects crude oils, it will be at least 90 degrees or hotter if the input materials are hotter. That it's hard given that it's water, but uh, you should also, it doesn't specify the, huh, it doesn't specify the temperature of the natural gas, which is even hotter than the 90 degrees. This is some hot stuff. Someone has high stress. Why does Lyra have high stress? I guess she spent too long in those ships at an inconvenient time. Yeah, I'm probably going like, yeah, it might be nicer instead of just making it like time based, make it time of day based. So instead of being like 200 seconds after you land, you leave, make it like after your scheduled nap, after your scheduled break, you leave. So that, like, it only runs once a day, but it runs, like, it will keep my dupes useful and happy, which is very important. I like my dupes useful and, you know, happy enough that she's not going to eat all the food. No, it looks like we probably should put you and you in bed. Yeah, no one's going to be able to work this. Mainly because it'll be too hot. People are going to try to come in here to release the pressure and they'll die in the process. So how's the wire doing here. Oh, 
Are we good with the wire? I think we might be good with the wire. I'll destroy this. Destroy this. No, not this one. Oh, we're not, we're not good with the wire. We have one wire that's impossible to reach. We're almost good with the wire. Good enough that I will do this and deal with any uh, potential issues that arise from it. We will highest priority this. And let's uh, kill off another section of these guys for their barbecue. So you guys don't have anything to do, you're saying, huh? And there's plenty of oxygen. Yeah, we dug pretty far down here. We lost a little bit of polluted water to this area. It's the bottom of the map, right? Yeah, that's neutronium, I think. Yeah, there's some neutronium. So I still don't know where my water is. What is this one? This is a minor volcano. There's minor volcanoes on here? I didn't remember seeing minor volcanoes being on the map. Minor volcanoes, yep. Yeah. Aluminum volcano, carbon dioxide, gold volcano, and polluted water vent. So the polluted water vent is on the other side of the map, I guess. And uh, I just picked the wrong side of the map to start on. If I wanted a uh, renewable water resource, good job me. So, uh, given that, did we ever set this up? No, we did not. So I want all brine, no, not brine ice, crushed ice, ice and snow to be in here. I also want all uh, bleach stone, oxalite, and most, most importantly for us, where is the organic? the slime. Let's put those in here. At priority six. I'll also set this up. A similar thing on this side. growing you're just not growing enough you're not making any seeds I don't know why that's happening I really think it should have made seeds by now like I don't really fully understand how it hasn't made seeds yet uh, let's give her a break carbon dioxide uh, one moment I'm gonna be right back uh, I'll let this run just on uh, level two I need to go feed the cat today soon anyway so it's not that big of a deal uh, well I probably tried to kill too many people <laughs> yeah
It's okay. They'll get it done. Water there. My coal. I am burning through the coal like a madman. I'm crazy. So, this wire should be good now. Ignore the fact that it has. Yeah. So, I should have a lot more uh, cobalt now. Oh, yeah. I increased the amount of cobalt that I have by so much. So, let's finish up with. Uh, Okay, let's add in some more wires here. What is going on here? Why is it done this way? I'm gonna do it differently. I don't like that's done this way. So let's I'm not sure I'll have enough lead for this. Just enough. Oh, we can't get that. That should give us enough lead. Once we have this all built, I will disconnect this wire here. I don't know why we, we probably had a good reason at the time that we went in that direction. Okay, and for you, at most suits copper, I can make two of them. So let's make two at most suits copper. What do I want my first two at most suits to be? I'm assuming one of them will be two I'll make right here. So I'm gonna it's utilities, right? No, it's uh, stations. Yeah, at most suit checkpoint. Other way around. And at most suit dock. I guess given that, we probably want to start considering uh, putting. A little bit of oxygen down here. Oh, I thought crude oil, like overflowed and the 700s. Well, there we go, it's overflowing. It's just 870? I thought it was in the 700s. So now this number should be going up slowly. Ah, oh, it's still so much. There we go. This should be allow us to make our first exosuit dock. And we will use it to try to help. The, uh, control the inside of this. But what? Overheating? Ah, I can't make these out of lead apparently. I do have plenty of iron. Uh, just that overheat temperature reduction. Just not working in, in my favor. Okay, so stations. Uh, at Lucy checkpoint, let's make it out of iron this time. Uh, at Lucy dock, let's also make that out of iron this time. Okay. 
We should be at the point where someone would normally be asked to depressurize the whale, but there's no one. Like, Goss is sleeping. And now there's no one that can even do it, anyways. So we both don't have any oxygen or power heading towards this, and. Yeah, and now they're only gonna be allowed to go in and out based off of them needing a suit. So, how are my suits going along? We made zero of them. <laughs> rocketry flip flop. I really wish rocketry did something. That could make me, like at the point where we're at right now, that would be interesting. Like we could have a dedicated rocketry, rocketeer May plus 12 rockets, maybe that's increased speed, increased fuel efficiency, both. Like, who knows, right? But at the moment we don't have, this doesn't do anything. Like plus 12 piloting does nothing. Uh, Operating, rocketry, decorating, operating. Uh, what was the... Oh yeah, slicksters. So let's skip this one. Reject. Okay. Yeah, so let's... Uh, cook all this meat. That should bring us... Let us not use box buckets for a little bit, which is gonna be nice. Oh, see, it got too warm in here already. It's, uh, these guys are picky, little, picky, picky. Like, I guess the dirt itself that we are feeding them with is a little warm. Where's the dirt is 28, yeah, it's a little warm. 38, that one's really warm. Okay, some of this dirt is really warm. Really hot dirt. Uh, yeah. It should be fine still, even if they don't grow too much, as long as there's some growing. And some of these scales are growing when they're up there. Like if it goes up, up a little bit. Yeah, scale growth. And we have, so I'll need to make one of these. Two additionals. That can be needed. We're gonna need a new set of wires to help with all this extra power needs. But the, ideally we could have one for Dreco and one for shiny Drecos. Uh, once we start being able to populate the shiny Drecos here, we'll also be able to uh, remove these and if I remember correctly Drekos are can be perfectly sustainable because they can eat where's their food uh, They can eat pitcher pepper plants which just require an atmosphere they do not require uh, No, I mean palm lilies they, they can eat palm lilies which just require a chlorine atmosphere and They don't actually consume anything so we can just provide a chlorine atmosphere and then that means the Drekos don't actually consume anything. Which is perfect. That means they are literally infinitely sustainable food and uh, the thingy that we... Why is that name escaping me? Reef fiber, thank you. Hey, I don't know why that escapes me for so long. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's get rid of this. Clothing, at most suits. Allow manual use. So someone will send over the clothing. And on the other hand here, let's send over some seeds. So allow manual use seeds of the mealwood. Okay, uh, let's deliver suit. I 
eventually we'll get that tooth delivered. There we go. Take that suit. Send it over to the other asteroid. Perfect. So you should have a suit now. That can be delivered to here. That will allow us to... Pump out. Yeah, I know. You guys don't like coming down here. Can't blame you. At all. But not much I can do about it right now. So... Can we, uh... Prioritize this a little bit more, please. Now that's what seeds are. So that should hopefully let us plant more. Uh, you guys are over here, right? Six mealwood seeds. Oh, we have plenty of meal with seeds now. Okay, so thanks for all the seeds. Uh, no more. So let's deliver the soup here. Unreachable. There, you should be reachable. Once it powers up. That takes a little bit, I guess. Wow. That is a long first charge, I guess. There we go. So now they'll be able to come in here. I want to be here for this first attempt. Temperature of this water is fine. Natural gas is fine. We're about to hit the pressure zone. Everything is doing good. Okay, now we're starting to pump out some of this natural gas. anything still very warm but like that's doing much better now that we've added more tiles and made this a little bit more efficient now we're running 32 and leaving at 28 or in 30 something like that still pretty good uh, all of that natural gas should have went up here into here but not be used yet because we don't need it oh we don't have it output pipe for the carbon dioxide well how so yeah so we're gonna have a lot of carbon dioxide it's just gonna all fall down here so I guess we don't really need to care too much like just output well this is all very Go here but we'll need a high pressure vent because yeah there's no way we're ever gonna put something carbon dioxide the oxygen pressure here is just way too perfect have I made glass already I think I have uh, oh yeah let's see there's ten, there's some glass here not a lot though 
proved that works. Let's not push our luck. Okay, so yeah, so the natural gas isn't going to be used up because we're we don't need it right now because we have plenty of power. Uh, it'll be burnt eventually, and we don't really have a solution yet for the water that comes from it yet. Uh, but on the other hand, this is working as expected. We're going to change this to 200 because I'm impatient. And then we can start burning. And yeah, this looks good. Once this is burning and we'll get some burnt, we will have a significant amount of carbon dioxide. Uh, we will need to start taking that carbon dioxide and using it for our shuttles. Because uh, we only have so much coal on this asteroid. And we are going through it quicker than what we have. Uh, Shrubora is in a pretty good place right now. But that can obviously change at any moment. We only have 6.9 tons of algae. Uh, we can obviously still dig more, and there's more algae. But we have to consider that, like, this is not infinite. We will eventually reach a point where... Uh, oh, still no seeds. Still no seeds. Uh, either there's no seeds or, like, the pips are taking them and planting them somewhere and not letting me know. But either way... This is not doing very well for seed production. And we have someone that has slime lung, which is not surprising given that we have slime lung issues everywhere here. Okay, oh yeah, so we got these. So let's uh, do the same thing with some modifications to the what we put for liquids liquid fireball. It's only polluted ice is acceptable here. Okay, so what I want to do next is to start sealing this off. Uh, so assuming that this would be a, the ceiling, or this is the ceiling. It would be nice if we could. Uh, well, this would be in the way anyways, right? So this is going to be the ceiling we're going to try to use to seal this off. Uh, so let's start from here. But I just I'd like to map this out. So this needs to be eighteen. So eighteen goes right here. That means we'll have ladder, ladder. And from this ladder to, how far is 18? 18 is right there. Can I mark this yet? Yeah, so ladder here. So technically this is a whole floor potential. Uh, how do I build this without losing all of my oxygen? So, yeah, so this, this whole thing can be a floor, not a problem. Uh, we can do the same thing we did up there. So if we have uh, one door right here, this is dirt. So if we have this set up here, That should have the same effect as we have here, where we have a pocket. Oh, I guess we don't have a pocket anymore. But whenever this is open, we have a very little amount of room for it to escape. Oh, that's a lot of, that's a really, those are some very heavy pockets of carbon, not, of oxygen right here, of hydrogen. I guess the hydrogen is playing a role in this because that's a lot of oxygen just sitting in that one area. So they'll be able to come in here. I don't want to take these out. 
We'll be able to come in here, go in through this place, and then build this entire floor, which would allow us to then come in down here, pressurize all of this, assuming there's no other leak, which I don't think there is, but, oh, oh, there's something here. It's an aluminum volcano. Yeah, I didn't cheat. It just tells you what it is because it's not completely. It's a, it's a technically it's an exposed volcano, just like the full volcano here. It's not hidden like uh, the minor volcano is here. So there's the other uh, metal volcano. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, Draco. So I'm guessing, yeah, I'm still guessing the water volcano, the other water volcano is, ah, is on this side of the map. So we'll, we'll find, I mean the water geyser. So we'll find it, but this is probably, would be a good way of getting across this giant vacuum gap. Uh, but yeah. Okay, well it's getting very late. So I'm gonna call it for a night. Uh, I think we made very good progress. I'm quite happy with our uh, automated rocket system. Uh, apparently Lyra is a little less happy, so maybe I need to figure out a little, yeah, make it by time of day instead of making it by uh, time and use some memory cells instead of uh, just some simple buffer and filter gates. Would probably solve that problem. Are these all very warm? Yeah, they're all too warm now. Everything here is too warm. We're gonna have to figure out a way to cool this area now. Uh, that's strange. Okay, well, and we'll need to do that tomorrow. Uh, Zeppelin is, so this one's looking good also. Uh, we have Yeah, so we finally tamed our first oil well. <sighs> Sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting quite tired. Uh, so we finally tamed our first oil well. We'll probably try to tame this one tomorrow, uh, depending on how far deep we can start digging before our dupes cry a little too much. Uh, and uh, this seems like it's running well. We still haven't pumped out, oh look at that, we're pumping out our first batch of crude oil. Um, which will be processed into petroleum and I just want to watch this while we have some idle dupes. Uh, I guess I, you guys can get started on these two construction projects. We'll see if that makes anyone upset. So Mima comes in here to run it for very little because that's all of the, yeah, we just don't have a lot of, uh, yeah, it's, it's processing, it's pumping it out, and now people are very unhappy that I told them to come back in this corner of the map. Oh yeah, and we increased the heating source to counteract the increase uh, the cooling to counteract the heating and the cooling is doing a very good job at keeping this area nice and uh livable. Uh, apparently telling people to come down here. Bad idea. You already have someone with a stroke. Oh, are we gonna make it in time? Yeah, okay, there we go. We better not take a break now. It's like, oh, I uh, I have to go take my nap now. Yeah, look at that. So many people, they get so hurt so fast. Like half the dupes on this asteroid, there they are. Okay, well, we'll try to deal with that tomorrow. Maybe extend my heating loop down here to carry more heat out to uh, destroy. 
32 to 30. It's working. It's just, it's not, it's a long-term solution. It's not a short-term solution. Okay, cool. Well, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.